Pritchard, the City and Water Board coming to an agreement about the city's water issue. It's a story we've been following here at NBC 15 and the fallout from this, this dispute has put the safety of Pritchard residents at risk. NBC 15's Megan Gannon is live from Pritchard right now and the big risk of course is those non-working hydrants but finally they made a compromise. They have made a compromise, Darwin. So the water board of, uh, here in Pritchard, Pritchard City Council came to that mutual agreement. That means they will not have to go to court today to talk about this issue. Uh, Pritchard City Council approving this water resolution uh, yesterday in their meeting. Now, if you remember, this actually started last week when the water board cut off water to Pritchard City facilities here. And what they did was they cut it off because of an outstanding bill, $243,000 unpaid bill. And what that was in reference to and um, there was a discrepancy between the hydrants that are not working throughout the city. You know, we told you that the city is saying there's 400 hydrants that are not working properly. However, the water board saying that there's only 20 that are not working properly. So with this agreement, what it's going to do is this means that they're going to have to check every hydrant throughout the city and then recalculate that bill. What needs to be paid because of the hydrants that are not working. So uh, starting on Monday, what's going to happen is a water board representative is going to be going out with a uh, member from Pritchard Fire. They're going to be going to every hydrant to check all of those hydrants to see which ones are working and not working. They're going to have 21 days to do that. Now breaking it down, what's going to happen is for the working hydrants that are working properly, City of Pritchard will be billed for those hydrants. For the non-working hydrants though, the Water Board will be responsible for fixing them and the City will not be billed for those. Now the Water Board will also be required to fix the hydrants that are quote questionable in a questionable status, meaning that there's low water pressure or they're just located in a bad area. And also, according to Pritchard City um, City Council President Derek Griffin, the insurance company will be paying for the damages that were done here at City Hall. If you remember when the water was turned back on, there was a sewage overflow that took place here at City Hall. They approved City Council approved of twenty thousand dollars to be used to pay for those damages. However, City Council is not not going to have to use that money because the insurance company will pay for that. Reporting live in Pritchard, Megan Gannon, NBC 